Hello everyone and welcome to this week's fourth workout. Got a good one planned for you today. Again, it should take about 10 to 20 minutes. Starting with a little bit of upper body right here. We have our tricep dips going for three sets of 15. That's a very good body weight exercise. Very simple. And you're going to pair that with a fifth ball front, front raise. Three sets of 10. For those that throw in their sport, this is going to be a very good exercise to help increase velocity. Uh, going to go into some plyometrics add to that. We are going depth jumps, and we're we are going to do two each leg. So that's two with your right leg and two with your left leg. We're going to go horizontal and vertical. Very good plyometric exercise there. Help build explosiveness. And we're going to finish off with contact drill. Very good footwork right uh, footwork drill right there. We are going to go forwards, moving to our left and to our right. So we're covering both directions, and we're also going to be moving or we're going to shuffle. And that's also going to be done to our left and to our right. Pretty good workout right here. We have upper body and lower body plan. Coach Bill, come on into the performance center. All right, so our very first exercise is the tricep dip. You're going to need an elevated surface, something like this. The table can do fine if you have it at home. You're going to take a seat on it. You then are going to place your hand on the platform Make sure they are as close to your hips as possible. You do not want a wide grip with this. So right next to your hips, you're then going to walk it out. And then all you're gonna do, off from the elbows, you don't want to move your shoulders at all, bend, bend. Making sure you're getting close to that 90 degree angle when you perform that tricep dip. You're gonna go anywhere, 10 more reps with this. One, two, Three, making sure all the movement is coming from your elbow, not your shoulder. You're going to pair that with a fit ball front raise. Now this ball I have right here is approximately two pounds. What I want you to do, find anything at home that's approximately two pounds. It could be a baseball, it could be a softball. Now, whatever you grab, make sure you hold it with a C grip. So you can see with my hand, I have this ball held with the letter C, right like that. Find a wall. I have a pole right behind me. Place your back flat against it. That C grip is now pointing across the wall. And I extend straight up. Right down, down to my hip. Right back up. Down to my hip. Right back up. Now going over to my left hand, make sure you do both arms. Again, I still have that C grip right there. Hip. Straight up. Hip, straight up, and one more. Hip, maintaining that C grip the entire time, and straight up. For those that view that throw in their sport, so pitchers in baseball, quarterbacks in football, this is gonna be a very good drill to help uh, increase velocity. All right, moving over to the next one. We have our depth jumps, we have our depth jumps. You're gonna need a little bit of a smaller surface, right like this, stool. I'm gonna show you going Horizontal first, so broad jumps. Remember, you're doing two with your right leg and two with your left leg. One of the most important things is, as soon as your feet hit the ground, you gotta go. There is no time to stick the landing. As soon as your feet hit the ground, you gotta go. You're gonna hover your right foot over the ground. One, two, three, and as soon as it hits, jump out horizontal. Right, like that. And going back, do my left leg. Left leg hovers over the ground. One, two, three, hit the ground, and go. So those are the horizontal jumps, or broad jumps. Now we also have to go vertical. Same thing, right foot over the ground. I count to three, one, two, three, and I want to jump straight up towards the ceiling. One, two, three, straight up. Now I'll go with my left leg. One, two, three, right like that. Now with each of the horizontal and the vertical jumps, make sure you do two with your right leg, two with your left leg for four total jumps. All right, come on over here to, your, uh, to a set of codes that I have. You can use anything at home, just little markers right like this. We are going with our contact drill. The point of this drill is to have as many short, choppy steps as possible. This is really gonna help out with your footwork. You do not want the long strides here. Short, choppy strides. Gonna look right like this, and we are going to go from left to right here. Short choppy steps. Short choppy steps. Short choppy steps. 
right, like that. So now, I've got to go the other direction. I advanced on the right side, now I have to advance on the left side here. Short, choppy steps. Short, choppy steps. Short, choppy steps. All right, like that. So you can do that going forwards, and you can also do it with a shuffle. So now, I'm going to advance on the left side of the cones again with the shuffle. Make sure you stay low with your shuffles, sink your hips. Short and choppy steps is the way to go for the contract drill. And the last one, going on the right side now, shuffling to my right, contact drill again. And right like that. So, that is the workout for today. Very good workout. We have our upper body rotations right there, paired with our plyometrics with the depth jumps, and our foot foot drills going with the contact drill. Keep up the good work. Let's see you all send some workouts down. We're showing you what to do. I want to see if you guys are doing it correct. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask.